Hey everyone, Mike, Rocky Ridge Kennel and Loft. I'm gonna put the birds out for a fly and uh, I'm gonna wait about another hour because it's kind of overcast and it's supposed to clear up today. If you can see all the fog over there. It's supposed to clear up a little bit later on, so I'm gonna let them out for a fly. But I added this, um, this rabbit cage. I took off the back of it. <clears throat> and uh, fits perfectly on that platform and it kind of uh, makes it nice for, uh, for some of the real young ones to come out and see see the surroundings a little bit better uh, nice little set settling addition I just kind of put that stick there because it's um, it, it stays open all the time it gives it a little support but these um, these cages here are working out pretty well um, it took them a while to figure out that they have to come down to the platform in order to get into the tra to where the trap is. Uh, a lot of times they go right to this this area and try to get in through there. Um, sometimes I have to stand right there and so that they come back this way to the landing platform. I would say about 90% of them, maybe 95% of them get the idea now. but. <clears throat> it was definitely a learning curve and it was a little bit frustrating for a while But I, I don't know. I think I mentioned um, I have all the adult hens in with the young birds now and So there's tw I think 29 birds all together and um, I've had them out a few times. It seems to be working out. All right. The last time I let them out It was kind of nice because they all they all went straight to the air and flew around for about 10 minutes. Um, which uh, That was the first time that happened. So I was, I was very pleased to see now they get the idea that the, and plus I think they enjoy it now. They're, they're looking forward to their fly. You can see them all out here uh, ready to go. They've been in for two days um, straight because of the weather. Terrible weather. We, we Well, it's just rainy. It's uh, springtime and um, these are the uh, th three males that I have left, three adult, uh, 2019 males, and there's one more male that's going to be coming in here. I think one young one in here that hasn't even flown yet, um, most likely will come out today and uh, join the rest. See that blue bar hen right there? Blue bar hen is the mother of this grizzle, and that, and that uh, blue check, and also the other grizzle that's in here. Those two guys right there, they're nest mates. So that blue bar is their mother, and the father is is a pure white. I lost him, but I chose him because he was one of the one of the strongest uh, pure whites that I had. <clears throat> So I made, so that's the only, um, besides that feral pigeon right there, those are the only three birds that I have in here that are not pure whites. And I just did it as an experiment. Plus I wanted to give that, give her a meat. Uh, she's a real sweet bird, real nice, nice temperament on her. But I've been told by several people that you can't get a grizzle from a pure white and a blue bar one of the parents has to be a grizzle. So I kind of disagree <laughs> because there they are. Um, two beautiful grizzles, but um, obviously there's a grizzle somewhere down the line. Um, but yeah, this, this little beauty here is, uh, is, is turning out to be a nice flyer. Actually, everything I crossed with the blue bar is a real good flyer. So it tells you something, you know, these, uh, these whites are, uh, they're white dove release birds. I got them from a, from a guy that had done that white dove release for 30 years. And this is the line of birds. He doesn't even know what breed they are. And, but they have great homing instinct. I wouldn't say they're particularly fast, uh, but I can't say that really. I haven't, <clears throat> haven't really gotten them out. I got uh, three of them out. These, you know, two of these males 
I've gotten them out as far as seven miles. In the beginning, I really hadn't intended on uh, white, white racing homers as racing birds, but um, I do have some real racing pigeons uh, coming, and soon enough, uh, I'll start training them. So that'll be the next chapter. But I, as soon as it clears up, I'll film these guys flying a little bit. All right, so the weather's clearing up. It's getting brighter out. Uh, so I think I'm gonna let them out now. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. They're all going right straight up. Oh, I spoke too soon. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Well, there's a few that went up. Let's get those others up there. I believe the reason why some of them stayed in there is because I made the mistake of whistling and they're waiting for their food. to do that on a foggy day but I think they'll be fine. There's a few more still left in there. Come on guys, come on. few more there. I never know what's a baby uh, just by looking quick so I, I don't want to scare anybody up and plus some of them are molting pretty bad and they don't really want to fly so I don't I don't do uh, <laughs> the original flock I, I gotta scare somebody up otherwise they won't fly but them, them stragglers like that that don't even come out um, I just let them decide on their own. I think at least two of them. One of them's only flown once and the other one hasn't flown at all. Yeah, they're doing good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower all the traps now that everyone's stepped out. That one's never flown, look at him. He doesn't know what to do. Figure it out. <laughs> that a baby. It's been raining so much, my traps don't even, they're a little sticky. What the heck was that? Oh, it was a crow. There's a, <laughs> a crow hanging in there with him. That's uh, interesting. I hope that's a crow. Oh, it's gone now, whatever it was. I definitely don't need a hawk to scare those birds away on an overcast day like this. Pretty good. There's some healthy birds there. I'm 
So this is the second time they're flying today. It's about 7, 7 p.m., a little after. I don't know how long they flew this morning, probably about 15 minutes. So we'll see how long they go. This afternoon I'm going to try to start flying them twice a day. The two young ones that didn't want to come in for their food, uh, they came out briefly and then ran back in. So that's fine. It's 27, 27 right there. Look real nice with the sun shining off of them. I tell you, they didn't want to fly at first, but they, they're really enjoying it now. I think they're about done. So a little bit of feed, feed motivation looks like. They figure things out in a hurry when they're hungry. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to the channel.